Now we'd like to open up the floor for questions. Uh, thanks a lot for such a uh, good gathering. We are all my colleagues, or you were my colleagues. Actually, I have a concern from Dr. Muhammad Hagazi. What he talked about is that it's not the cyber security. It's uh, just uh, it's not just a credit card has been stolen. It has it's a it's a whole g country has been occupied. Uh, electricity was cut in a certain country for five days. So what kind of uh, ideas that you thought to build a system so that the system will not be as good as what has been announced by the company three years ago, that all our information will be on their cloud. All the feature 500 announced that in 2020, name it IBM, SAP or whatever, all the data will be on the cloud, on their cloud. So the centralized solution, all the decentralized solution that every country should have its tools and software, not anymore, to, 2020, they will not support it in 20. So, including the the issue of the firewall, what is protecting us until now, the best one who has a firewall is our eastern borders. I remember when I was an IT manager in my track, I was buying a firewall in the year 2000. 20,000. I went to a friend of mine in a security agency. He said that who is the best one selling a firewall? This one. No, buy, but don't buy from him. Buy from number three rank. Maybe the quality is not that good, but, but security, I approve them. So when in Egypt we will be able to have legislation just like what we did for the call centers? We did legislation so that the call centers in Egypt will compete with, 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 with India. So that we have allowed that the, it will be over the VOIP, so that now in Egypt we have the call centers are the best. So when we will be having regulations to allow us to build firewalls inside us and to use it. But the other thing that it, when will we put a legislation that will not allow uh, a deputy minister to send to send email while they are to another uh, deputy minister while they are both on Gmail. So even if the email is slow or bad, so how two very high rank officials, I don't want to say that, two ministers, but I don't want to say it, how there should be a legislation that any government employee inside the business should use an Egyptian email. He should have an email. So this digitization might be, from my point of view, we should not run fast to to catch it, but we have to walk fast a little bit. But we have to secure it so that it will not happen. Just with a bad, with a, where if if something bad between us happened and and a, and a big country, they will just pull the socket and then things will will all collapse. I am working in the insurance sector. I am in the in the committee that modifies the insurance law, and we were able to overcome the executive reg regulation because we have an, an, a regulatory body that oversees the insurance sector, and it will uh, it'll issue many regulations that we can do or replace the existing regulations. So, who is the regulator of the laws? The, of these laws, is it the Ministry of Justice or, or is it judiciary? I mean, who will settle the disputes between the conflicting parties? As long as, because we we always issue lots of laws, but at the end we say that oh, anyone who has been afflicted by damage will just go to the court of law, and we and because the court of law is not they are busy enough, we did what's called the economic court. So, and also the mandatory insurance law in the traffic system has 
uh, said that uh, that once the prosecution uh, decision has been issued for the damaged party, uh, actually it has reduced the the ceiling from unlimited to forty thousand pounds. But they started to take it right away, this insurance, so that they have they are now doing without any litigation procedures. So we are happy to have such kind of law. So this is the, the what I want to talk about the access regulations and uh, the paper community and cashless so will the tax department not request any paper any kind of paper so that any person will not be able to provide justifications for all the payment that he has done so there should be a substitute and there should be a, some sort of coordination or link between the different entities and also will the digitization because there is digitization and digitalization, we have to uh, distinguish between them. So are we doing digitization or to do digitalization of people? So the link between the information and data of the government, so like for us as insurance sector, in order to work in the right way, we have to request the, 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 the family of the deceased person to get us the, the certificate of death. Why we shouldn't we have a database where we go into the citizens' uh, data, and we know that whether he is the key or not, this will serve the Ministry of Supply, for example. So, will there be one source where we, as different sectors dealing with the citizens, can can uh, refer to so that we can save the citizens the time or the effort of getting the the, the papers that he has to submit? Actually, I will talk about two parts. First one is the is the cashless payment law and also regulating land transport. The cashless uh, payment law is very important, but the question here: What will we do in the informal economy? Because the 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 cashless economy the the informal economy is the cash economy. So how will you cover this? If I did not put into consideration the informal economy, which represents a big percentage, but it represents, I will not say a certain percentage, but it is a very huge sector of the economy. Just go to any small city and tell us how will you use the cashless, econ cashless payments? How will you cover this? This is number two. Uh, number, this is number one. Number two is the land transport law. Uh, I have heard all those people talk about Uber and Karim, Uber and Karim. But the unified ticket is, will be just like a credit card, and we have to go and work on it. How is it covered by the law? How? Because exactly as you have mentioned, Engineer Mohammed, that you ha if you have a mobile wallet, so because the, the unified ticket is a, is a mobile wallet, but in the form of a ticket. The last thing. The laws are issued, and this is something very good, really, and it's an effort that's really worth uh, commending by the MCIT and the House of Representatives. So, how about the enforcement? To to enforce the implementation of this law, we that cannot see it. How will you oblige me to work on the electronic payment system or to have a certain form of implementation or enforcement. We do not see this on the ground. And thank you very much. Actually, I agree with uh, my colleague, Mr. Nidal, that because we in the House of Representatives, when we issue leg legislations for electronic services or developing the community in general, we, we get very happy. But we find that on the ground we do not find the legislative impact very clear, whether be because of the delay of the of the existing regulations and it happened in the, in the investment law and other laws, because the details sometimes are delayed and this handicaps a lot of work. And and sometimes if some laws are issued and the legislative impact will not be implemented on the ground and how the law will be implemented and on whom. The last point which we really is of concern to all of us, the idea of financial inclusion, is what do we need to achieve at the end? 
what we need at the end are better services like today I go to the governor of Suez because I am from Suez we can see that the electronic services people are suffering to get uh, pensions or to pay bills or to do anything electronic so because we are going we are dealing with five governorates where the electronic services will be are applied. This is mainly in the inf related to the infrastructure or the network is down. People are standing in queues like an ex an, a governorate like in in the government like Swiss. It's only one system where that issues or extracts all the ID cards or the certificates. So people stay online forever. So the Egyptian citizen will not be a trust, will trust, because there will be no confidence as long as the service, it's not in the incentives, but the service, this, I should have the time, how will the service be achieved, and that then people will be open to go the service and the services are not there and this is something very important and this is where all the philosophy of the laws and the electronic development stem from I have two points the first one is the infrastructure actually the problems of infrastructure are there people are suffering from the infrastructure and even the mobile uh, mobile phone companies say that the quality is related to uh, the infrastructure. So, aren't there any 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 legislations to be done in order to solve the problem of uh, of infrastructure? And we are talking about Viber, and and this is something very good for all the services that the citizens uh, receive. And also for Dr. Nadal, there is no uh, compliance with the deadlines like mid December or so and so. Until now, we haven't. Uh, get any the exact regulations because as you, as Dr. Hagazi said but unfortunately there is no compliance with the deadline of issuing the exact regulations and also I agree with Dr. Khaled that that the informal sector uh, the idea of invoicing or billing and uh, electronic payment, how will this be applied with the informal economy and how we deal with monopoly and all of these issues. Are there any other points or any other comments? This, is the, this will be the last comment. I have two points. The first one is related to e-signature or the act that was issued in 2004. The problem is that there was nothing that to have it enforced. But when what happens? or what could be the next step to be done. The other point is that the overplaying plan and the accountability and identifying the stakeholders of digitization in general. How can we benefit? Can we benefit from other countries' experience like Kenya or Tanzania? And there should be a council so that we will have clear stakeholders who are responsible for each milestone and it will be managed. They should have certain pillars for the management, for the regulation, and so that there will be government, a payment of government payments, so that each pillar should have a certain timeline and each integration with each timeline, how will it uh, go? So that we know this will be before this and this step should be established in order for the following step to be to take place. So I guess this is very important for us in order to have an overall successful digitization. So the uh, e-government is very important and this is what will uh, fix everything. So I will need to give uh, one minute for each speaker in, in the panel to talk. But before I give you the floor, uh, what you said regarding the that insurance sector is very true because this is a crisis of Egypt. Things are done and nothing will, will take place. So how will an uh, insurance sector be is unable to get the certificate uh, 
the certificate of death, for example, and though we have in the CAPMAS, they have a very good uh, a system for digitizing all these kind of certificates, and it was presented to us here by CAPMAS, but it's not linked to anything. It's a very good system, so like the, all this, uh, all the mobile applications, which will be which mobile, so it's a very big issue. So what applies on sector, applies on tax uh, administration, how will the, if you go and, uh, uh, if you go to the uh, tax department, you will find a very good computer, but they're still working on pay with documents, with paper documents, and with carbon copying and all of this. The computer is there, but nobody is working with it. So all the system will not be working on this way. So it's not digitization. It will take us 100 years. But if one year, but we will, in one year, uh, the, the, the world alone is running, but by the time you reach, you will find that blo blockchains are, are applied and the big data are applied. And we are still talking about, so the, the, the legislative framework is very important. So we have many points. The first one which I really care about is that you said that the insurance sector has put some rules on its own related to the application of the electronic crime uh, law. So, uh, these laws, what I understand is that, are these regulations? So, it's, so because this is your mandate or your specializations, because I'm, what I mean that is every sector should have a regulator which means that the insurance sector will issue regulator regulations to the insurance companies and it is free to uh, uh, will it be part of the regulations executive regulations of the application of other laws and we in our executive regulation we talk about the minimum technical standards that all sectors has to abide by so if the insurance sector the regulator of the insurance sector was matching with the regulate with the executive regulations okay higher okay but it cannot be less than the standards in the regulations the same with the CBE the same with the electricity sector but but this is one point that I wanted to stress. The other part is that all these laws are the mandate of the economic court, and this is an advantage because we are talking about from 200 to 350 to 300 judges uh, government-wide, and they are con constantly trained or continuously trained. Yesterday we had 80 judges from the economic court talk about cybersecurity and the IPR. Two weeks ago, the same. So we are always doing capacity building for them in this issue, and and the indicators of the legislative infrastructure and legal infrastructure within the last two to three years has improved a lot, according to some of the reports that was issued. Uh, the part that is related, or you have mentioned the part related to insurance and the emails that takes place between the ministers there is a very secure system for dealing between ministers or and government among ministers and government agencies at the highest executive level and this is uh, no one of them are is using other emails and this is a point and we the, so the system is really secure it's not only the electronic communication system it is even the wireless communication system the other point is that uh, that you have mentioned the idea is the, is the security and fire, firewalls and it is taking in taken into consideration in the excessive regulations that some entities or what we call the service providers of critical information inf infrastructure are not imposing to them to use one firewall they use more than one firewall which means that if they have went through one firewall it will not be able to invade through the other firewall so it's not just that we, we go to, to buy the, the closest one, we go to the first and the second and the third, but we are working with them interchangeably. 
So we are, that's why we are saying that the part related to technical details was very detailed and it was in the regulations and it is one of the things that required some time. So the data and the cloud, there is nothing that prevents us from going into cloud, but we will go to our private cloud. We will do this localized in-house. And with the good security standards that we are talking about, and there is some, uh, there will be some restrictions on transferring some data outside the government or outside the country, outside the borders. Also, the part related to uh, the informal sector or informal economy, I agree with you 100%. But when you look at the government approach and the legislations, you will find that they are all completing the pieces of the, of the puzzle, that we will have to merge this kind of economy into the formal economy. They started to have the salaries through uh, cards, and people will pay by the wallet, and we will have we will we will issue um, digital money, and we will give incentives to companies. We will do the project which is called electronic invoice, and there will be link between all the merchants and the, and the tax department using all the electronic signature system in order to enforce the electronic signature system and. Uh, and ensure its uh, security. And after this, all of this, uh, the, the man will not be able to carry a sack of money and put it in the bank. So by the time you will find that this merchant will will join automatically the, the formal economy. The idea of enforcing laws is a very good idea and it's very important that all the regular, all every regulator is in charge of applying the law that. So, like the NTRA is in charge of applying the information technology crimes uh, law, and it it plays a big role in auditing the companies, and there are obligations for the companies that they have to comply by. So that maybe the duration of modifying their situation in order to adapt to the law, it hasn't yet been expired, but we are just waiting for it. And also, the other part, with any crime that's committed or where the information infrastructure is issued as a mean for committing the crime, you will find that there is an inquiry or investigations and it is, the law is enforced at this level. So maybe is it as required, but maybe not yet. But by the time, I'm sure we will be able to, to improve. I would uh, briefly uh, comment at the outset. I agree with uh, Dr. Amr. Of course, we are lagging uh, behind when it comes to clouding, uh, hosting, uh, etc. Of course, call uh, centers are ahead. We follow or we are similar to the Indians model and we should work uh, hard. We have the Suez Canal. Uh, uh, we have 18 uh, cables. All uh, the international data pass uh, through uh, Egypt. We do not even get uh, a fee for all uh, these uh, data transmitted uh, through our uh, cables and we don't need the legislations in the uh, regard. We can issue licenses or permits. We can issue some incentives to attract all international companies to host in uh, Egypt. GPX has uh, an uh, Egyptian uh, permit and they can host a company. They work already in the fifth settlement and in the 6th of October uh, city. We can attract uh, web uh, hosting uh, companies in Egypt because Egypt's uh, strategic uh, location is in the favor of all uh, the international companies. To have the cable here next to the Suez uh, Canal would be a big advantage to all uh, these uh, companies. Of course, there are many uh, benefits, uh, whether uh, from a security, uh, from economic, 
uh, points of view and we will uh, make uh, this a successful at the call centers model. As for linking ministries toge together, of course we still face some uh, challenges. Each, uh, I'm sorry to say, but each ministry work on its own. It's as if they are working on isolated islands and of course each ministry needs the rest of the uh, ministries. And of course it takes time. It takes time. It's very time consuming, but uh, we are uh, good. Some uh, information are linked and ministries are linked. Of course, citizens cannot feel uh, that directly, but uh, the services now are coordinated, like sometimes if you want to get a certain or uh, service, you do not have to bring all the papers because it's already there in the system and the Ministry of uh, Supplies now uh, reviews all the papers. It's already uh, linked uh, to the Ministry of Electricity, to the Ministry of Maintainers through the ID number. Of course, the Ministry of Communication builds the network, so it's now taking a connection or linking into consideration. We would also work with the Ministry of Justice, uh, digital authentication and verification. We have already started working in certain services in order to spare the citizens the trouble of getting all these papers. Now we are working on the health uh, sector. People do not need to bring all the letters from the different uh, bodies in order to get this. We are also working on the uh, tablets. Uh, here I am referring to the education uh, sector and the health uh, sector. It took us much time, but we are on the way. I uh, agree with Dr. Khaled and with you. It's very, very important, the point that you referred uh, to. You referred to the card issue or the unified uh, ticket. This is very, very uh, clear uh, to us. And sometimes I tell you, God willing, we will, I will, but no. When it comes to this issue, we have a time frame, the plan. The financial conclusion will be done. We need incentives and we need commitment. We have done a lot uh, when it comes to incentives and encouraging uh, people. And we will start after the issuance of the new uh, law to task everyone with certain commitments because people will not be able to use their cash anymore. They need to resort to the digital uh, payments. People will not uh, be able to pay their bills with their cash money. Now we have the MISA card or the Advantage card. And this card is a link to your own ID. Again, people will not be able to use their money, even if they have it in their pockets. You also said that we should have one single authority dealing for everything. Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Yes, I would be very, very brief, Dr. Abla. We need to care more for customer satisfaction. It's not about service provision. It's about customer satisfaction. And this is the hardest uh, standard to meet. If people cannot feel the effect of the services you are providing, then there is something missing. There is something wrong going on. Yes, of course, database uh, management is important. And why, why should I stand in queue for half an hour? Because it's called uh, one window shop. Still, we are following all the traditional ways in everything. And again, I ask you to provide us with certain dates. I hope that next time we meet with Dr. Abla, we can uh, tick off all things from our check list because it's already done. We will enjoy a 10-minute break and then we will continue we, uh, with the second session. Thank you so much, Dr. Mohammed Hegazi, Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim, Dr. Uh, Nidal 
for being so open and honest and uh, we hope we can achieve what uh, we uh, promised and we want security uh, concern uh, uh, to be uh, addressed and here I am referring to protection. Uh, also we need to take into consideration the point of having a secure network for ministers' uh, e-correspondences. Thank you so much.